Adam hadn't authorized it. Oh, that's another word you're going to hear a lot. Authorization. Of the others. Ugh. Yeah. This is going to be great. Ugh. Now, see that line? See that line? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Until I get permission from Daddy, I can't have fun with my toys. Ugh. This is... This is something that I dislike on a fundamental level. And that's really tough to see a character like this be portrayed in this way. More running! Oh wait. I think later on like your charge like like charges faster. Because right, right now that kind of sucks. I guess the only reason he wouldn't authorize the use of things is because of collateral damage, but none of your weapons seem to do anything. Okay. I guess that worked. Now it's the whole, hey, did you pay attention to the, to the, to the tutorial scene? <laughs> I, mean, I hope so. At least we're at gameplay, though. Get some of these spiky mother... I really like the auto lock. I feel like it's. I don't like it. I think it's necessary. Well, no, that's why I like it. Because, yeah. Because otherwise, I wouldn't be able to shoot shit. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like in a old school Resident Evil. Because you have the fixed camera angles, you have to have some degree of auto locking. Otherwise, it's a complete mess. Yeah. And it, uh, <laughs> I kind of deserve that. <laughs> Although sometimes it does just kind of like fall flat on itself. Yeah. There we go. And really, there's no reason to actually like attack certain things, except for maybe hoping like you get like a life drop out of it. Yeah. The enemies are extremely tough. Alright. Cool. <laughs> and all over the place. What is this? Yeah, we got it. Nope. So I kind of sometimes missed the scanning that was in Prime. Yeah, it was a lot a lot more sensible. Oh. I oh. just had to do nothing. Okay. That see that was a loading screen is what that was. Oh. I hate it. I prefer the older Metroid loading screens where the door just doesn't open while it loads in all the stuff. Yeah. Oh, I heard a whole bunch of skitter skitter. Oh, oh. oh come on. There's a lot of reading. It's something I think a lot of the Wii games suffer from, is they have to adjust the way that the games are designed to fit the the console. No! It's right there! It's right there! Come on. Come on! Ugh. Mm. Yes, I know, Map. I know. Oh, you gotta be careful about to die. Mm -hmm. uh, you better not. Adam hasn't given you permission to die yet. <laughs> oh, that's right. I can actually like recharge uh, up to I think one full bar. So you don't have to worry about being afraid of dying. What? Let's see. That's. I don't know if there's a word for that. Uh. Stupid. Kind of just takes all the oomph out of the game, all the the tension. Nope. Let's see. Come on, let's try that again. Nope. I don't have the thing for it yet. So I don't. I don't mind trial and error in games. I like, guess yeah. fine. Yeah. But sometimes it's like, all right, what can I do? Just a little bit, a little bit of answering. Be some, be clear about it. Love elevators. No, I don't. I think I saw a little hatch you can go into. Oh, I think that's a hatch you can go out of, not into. Oh. Right? Alright, and... Alright, they're not at the point where they show me... 
the arrow direction I need to go. So at this point, you just kind of gotta go with the flow. But the stage is the game is pretty linear, and it still has these like kind of save rooms to kind of like help navigate you. Yeah. Well, that's a classic for Metroid games, though. Yes. It makes you wonder why don't the uh, pirates ever use these if they're everywhere. Or maybe that's why they keep respawning. Hmm. <laughs> that could be it. That looks like a room with a ball puzzle in it that you can't access yet. Oh, hey, it's the party. Hey. Do I have permission to join you guys? Visor mode. Ooh. Ah, murder mystery. Someone or something attacked him. Right? I don't believe you. It looks like they attacked him with a marker. Oh! Huh, maybe I should kill that. Get away from me! <laughs> it was obvious that there was some pervasive danger throughout the facility. Hey, guess what? I bet they won't tell you what I didn't it is. Know what had brought Adam here? Maybe you could ask. But I did know that cooperation was imperative if we were to restore safety. Why? Why? Adam, listen to me. Clearly, this facility is in complete disorder. It might be too dangerous for your men to go alone. That's Take this. I... It's dangerous. Yay, swarm monsters! As insects might. Oh, it's uh. Gamora! Gamora! Yeah! Thank you! Or created the time. I recognize this boss. Gotta shoot it in the eyeball. Oh shit! Tentacles! Tentacles! What is with the Japanese? And why is it coming straight after you? Alright, I don't know what I can do. Oh, right. I have to let the game do the fight. Okay. Freeze guns authorized. Alright. So something you probably don't know is that freeze guns are actually like a very like experimental technology, and it was the only thing that could actually hurt the Metroids. Because they could absorb all of the waves of energy. Oh. That's an interesting little tidbit. It's a good thing Adam said she could use missiles. Yeah, man. Only I was like, oh shit. Alright, uh, let's try that again. Nope, nope, let's aim. Up, up, up. <laughs> Look at that. Concentrate fire in a single location and freeze that thing. And Sam, you attack the frozen spot. Now, use your missile. Alright, working on it. Doesn't Samus have a freeze beam herself? She's supposed to. Oh, alright. I guess that shows me that I can jump on him, too. Nope. Alright, what was the point of that? Alright, let's see. Maybe I just gotta, like, distract it. Okay. So you shoot it, and then they freeze it, and, and then you shoot, shoot it, it again. again. Alright. Shoot. Shoot. Headbutt. Freeze. Oh, really? Guys, y'all couldn't have done it from like a better angle? Nope. <laughs> oh, that wasn't an eye, it was a bug. Kill the fire! So boss fights incorporate a lot of the first person view. Yeah. But while you're doing that, you can't move. That's not good. Samus. Looks like I'm gonna need to ask for your cooperation on this mission. But oh, you're going to ask me? I'm also gonna have to ask that you follow my commands. What if I say you don't no? Move unless I say so. And you don't fire until I say so. God, I hate this line. I hate this part. I hate this part. That's fun. Let's go through an entire game listening to some others. 
douchebags command. The thumbs up sign had been used by the Galactic Federation for ages. Me? I was known for giving the thumbs down during briefing. Ah! I had my reasons, though. Ah! Commander she wanted attention. Malkovich was normally cool and not one to joke around. But, one but he would end all of his mission briefings by saying, Any objections, lady? Maybe it's because you were be kind of being a bitch. But others weren't. At the time, I felt surrounded by people who treated me like a child. You were experimented on and sent to the army at probably less than 16. <sighs> and yet with Adam, I was grateful for the nod. My past has left me with an uneasy soul. And as a result, it touched me on some level that Adam would acknowledge that past by calling me something delicate. Like, like flower. Oh, lady, that's right. And I knew right. more than anyone that every word from Adam was deliberate. This is infuriating. The thumbs down was a twofold response. Wow. A sign of derision. You didn't know. The lady, and but a yeah, of my now you know. Understanding of the mission orders. <sighs> and she has the to narrate the specifics of every me, single pointless smiles, despite the fact that I action so that she takes. Among them was Anthony. In the face of his well-meaning behavior, and that of the other soldiers. Yeah, black My friend. Was to become increasingly bitter. You know what I find weird about this, like, uh, scene? Like, Always in the Metroid universe, there are, like, animal people and alien people, right? Shoulder. But yet, only, like, humans I was in, everywhere you go. Not even, like, humans with, like, cat ears I or anything. I felt that if I let my mm -hmm. guard down, I would easily be broken. And beyond that, I was scared. Even in the naivete of my youth, I could see in Adam's joking manner how close he felt to me. Adam knows my past, and he knows me better than anyone else. So spoilers for anyone that doesn't know her past. Time. Oh, well, I'll let her because confess first. I was first. so young when I lost both of my parents, there's no question I saw Adam as a father figure. This is the most heavy-handed writing I've ever encountered. You, they might as well, like, play a song with the lyrics still like playing. Yeah. The Zack Snyder the shit. And his paternal compassion in the face of my rebellion reinforced the special bond I felt with him. I understood well that chances were slim that I would ever find anyone that understood me like Adam. So, of course, let's totally, like, run away and neglect him. When the time came, I still left his side. Right. I was so young. Young and naive. And then you did some of the most awesome stuff ever. By yourself. Exactly what transpired here on the battleship is still uncertain. Here's I don't I don't mind the uh, name for the ship though. That's kind of the cool. equipment we thought had been destroyed the battleship, is operational yeah. again. Hey. We've seen casualties attributed I'm not to sure what function it serves. Lethal creature. I don't think it's a bad name, but <laughs> You know, we need to gather all the information. I just don't can, understand it. Priority one. Maybe that's just because it's survivors. At least it didn't call it the safety. womb. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Consider <laughs> this site extremely dangerous. Be careful as you make your sweeps. And there's one problem the wireless interference in this facility is all pervasive. Whatever that means, your comm systems are useless. As a result, Communication channels will be limited to the facility's navigation booths. I think those are save points. Okay. Well then, Lyle, investigate Sector 1 and show a little restraint with the explosives. Lyle! Hothead, Reese, gotcha. You cover Sector 2. Repair any equipment you come across. Affirmative. Anthony, you're Sector 3. You're the black guy. Leave it to you you to know what you're here for. Plasma guns are called for. All right. James, Check out the control. You have a mustache. Our You're clearly evil. Might be the result of electrical interference. Yes, sir. And KG. Wow, you're really tiny. The residential quarters mm -hmm. and investigate any trace of survivors. Got it. Each of you is authorized to use a freeze gun. But not Samus. Don't forget to check in regularly via navigation booths. And Samus, you go to the system management room. Do everything you can to get the electrical system back up and running. Crank that generator. Looks like your comm system is still functional. So I'll be there Remember, to berate you every you step see of the will way. Also appear on this screen. Mm. It's kind of creepy. 
Adam, I'm not gonna lie. Weapons, the use of bombs has been authorized. Oh, thank as you. As far as your other weapons go, we will continue to investigate and authorize use as we can. However, we currently have no plans to authorize the use of power bombs. As you know, they have the ability to spread a high temperature heat wave over a large area, impacting living things. Which is a nice way of saying they can vaporize humans instantly. Yep, yeah, sounds like you are in my way. Of how dangerous power bombs are, and how their devastation can't be obstructed with common materials. Once the mission in the system management room is complete, I need you to report back. I'll give you your next orders then. I want you all to be especially careful as you execute your missions. No dying, no killing each other. If you see a That's strange monster lurking in the shadows, ignore it completely. Don't do anything that I won't that I say isn't good. <laughs> all right. I get that. Of course. It was the first time since my Federation days that I was following the orders of a commanding officer. I don't know, but maybe this is like more of like a jurisdiction thing. Adam, I hate to say. Like clearly, the uh, government must own at the this facility. Turn of events. Right. I responded. Understood. Adam. But if they're willing to like, no objections. Of ask course. for her help, you know. Yeah. You know, what, what am I saying? The military never tells the people things. Yeah. Yay, I get my bomb. Alright, so let's take a look at that, see if we can. Alright, uh, no, back. Status. Alright, beam. Just normal. Missiles, just normal. Bombs, normal. Suit, just regular power suit. It's a different take on, you know, at the beginning of the game, she has to lose all her power-ups. Right. So you have to progress through and get them, but it's also not a very good one. No. Because some of those power-ups just aren't any more destructive than others, you know? Like, why can't she have her various suit? Like, it does nothing dangerous having it. In fact, yeah. it's just more armor, armor that kind of protects her. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. A blue dot will appear once all the enemies is to are defeated. Okay, so you have to clear all the enemies before you can find the items. That makes sense. Yeah! Now you can finally access a missile, missile tank. Gives me one more missile. Which is cool, but I can recharge my missiles. Yeah. So that doesn't have as much of like an awesome appeal as it does in, say, Super Metroid or Zero Mission. Where you have to collect your missiles. When missiles sometimes are necessary to open doors. Mm -hmm. Oh, this has been a great start. Yeah, we, we at least we've got to the gameplay. You know? I'm I'm excited and hopeful about that. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awesome. 